Hello Church, Corona came into our lives on the right yet. But thank God we are children of God. We have fasted, we have prayed, and now we need to build our faith. And there are some actions that must be taken. And we have to look for them to lead us into all of the process of the action. Thank you, Pastor. Hello, Church. I am here to present one of the measures that Jesus Embassy LA is taking to support our members in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic, which has recently been declared a public health emergency in the United States. Since it is increasingly difficult to purchase hand sanitizer, we have decided to prepare some for our members and demonstrate to you exactly how that was done. Using this simple protocol from the World Health Organization, we combined four reagents, isopropyl alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, glycerol, and water in precise proportions in order to produce an effective hand sanitizer for you. I will now demonstrate this process with the help of my assistant and we begin with a mixing bucket. It is important that the, that the mixing container you use can hold at least twice the amount of hand sanitizer that you plan to prepare. You also need a mixing tool. And as you can see from this, it doesn't need to be too sophisticated. So we begin with the isopropyl alcohol, which my assistant will pour very gently into the mixing bucket. The isopropyl alcohol is the active ingredient in hand sanitizer. And as such, our formulation contains 75% isopropyl alcohol. The isopropyl alcohol kills the microbes kills microbes that might be on your skin, on the surfaces you might want to use. And we're pouring very gently in order to make sure that there is no splashing. Pastor, you are pouring very well. Thank you. <laughs> yes. After we pour the isopropyl alcohol, we add hydrogen peroxide. The purpose of the hydrogen peroxide is to destroy any bacteria that we might introduce during this mixing process. You will note that we are using uh, pre-poured proportions of these reagents. This is done so that we can expedite this process. Next, I am adding the glycerol. The glycerol is going to help balance out the alcohol and prevent it from drying out your hands. Glycerol is a very viscous, very thick agent, so you have to make sure that you pour all of it into, into, the, into the bucket and mix very well. And finally, we'll add water, which my assistant will pour out for us. Gently. Gently. Always. We want to prevent splashing and we want to make sure that the proportions of the reagents that we put in the sanitizer is what we think it is. If you have splashing and it's dripping outside the bowl, then you're losing some of it. So maybe it's not exactly 75% alcohol or it's not exactly 23% water. Now, you have effective hand sanitizer but there is one more reagent needed, and that is time. So we take this mixing bowl and cover it and store it in a cool place for at least 24 hours. After which we can bottle, we can bottle it carefully and be able to present it to you, our members. And with that, you will have an effective hand sanitizer that probably smells better than any can buy in the store. Now, that said, the most effective intervention that you can make during this second, make to protect yourself, is hand washing. 
and I urge you to watch very carefully the video that will be presented on proper hand washing technique and keep yourself and your family safe. Church, this is a product of this process and that is called spirit cream. Product of just embassy to San Diego's. Cause of Dr. Lola Fandani. Let's appreciate her. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Doctor. God bless you.